one amputation on each patient. Deep in the mountains of Albania, a country just to the north of Greece, the calm and quiet of the rural backcountry is about to be broken. The soldiers of the 702nd and the 720th EOD companies, based respectively out of Grafenwehr and Mannheim, Germany, recently combined to form a mobile training team, or MIT, to help support the DOD Humanitarian Mine Action Program. The MIT spent a little over a month training their Albanian counterparts to do their job, Explosive Ordnance Disposal, or EOD, by instructing them in the EOD Level 1 Operators course. The course includes two weeks of classroom instruction and another two weeks of hands-on field training. This comes as a welcome relief to a country which suffers from an overabundance of unexploded ordnance, about 90,000 tons worth. Staff Sergeant Sean Larson, one of the senior EOD technicians with the team, has worked with foreign militaries before while deployed in Iraq and feels this mission can only benefit Albania. My favorite part of the mission is probably just teaching these guys. I believe we have some of the best EOD techs in the world now. I mean, we have the most experience with Iraq and Afghanistan. And if we can share our knowledge with these guys and it'll help them when they go downrange, because I know I've worked with them in Missoula and stuff, so if I can help them downrange and I know they're safe, then it makes me feel good. Staff Sergeant Larson also said that besides helping to create a safer Albania, this mission built stronger relationships with our Albanian allies. So the more we train them, the more I can rely on them and trust them. And we build those relationships and it just helps the world get along better. And even after such a long and rigorous mission, it's safe to say everyone had a blast. Next shot. Three, two, one. From Albania, I'm Army Sergeant Cameron Christensen, UCR Public Affairs.